Generative AI such as ChatGPT and all the technologies that follow it, such as Notion AI, has revolutionized the way that we learn and take in and access information. Okay, something crazy has happened whilst I was recording and editing this video. OpenAI has just launched a new GPT-4 version 4. GPT-4 is the... GPT-4 take the GPT-4... GPT-4 is incredibly advanced and sophisticated. It can take in and generate up to 25,000 words of text. It understands images and can express logical ideas about them. I was just watching the live stream and one thing just blew me away. I have here a nice hand-drawn mock-up of a joke website. So I'm just going to take out my phone, literally take a photo, and now we wait. And so we can actually take now this output. So literally we just said to output the HTML from that picture. And here we go. So if you didn't know what just happened there, this guy had this really rough sketch of a website idea of took a picture of it passed it to this new GPT-4 language learning model, and then basically the GPT-4 outputs the whole, so the website code needed to, for the website from that napkin website idea. So just a little mock-up of website idea. And then image processed it, so now it could actually look at images now and generate the website. Like, that's just crazy and it's blowing my mind how fast this AI technology is currently developing. Chat GPT, viral sensation that could completely reset how we do things. Some educators say it's important to try and incorporate AI technology into their teaching. Medical school is notorious for its vast curriculum and the huge amount of knowledge for us medical students that we have to learn. However, if you integrate AI such as ChatGPT, Notion AI, or AI generated flashcard making programs, all powered by OpenAI's GPT-3, learning can be more effective and efficient. Today, I'm gonna to discuss the ways of how AI and how I use AI to benefit me and completely change the way I learn in medical school. And this could be applied to you as well, no matter if you study medicine, law, math, or any other subjects. One of the most significant changes that AI has brought to my learning experience is the instant availability of a free and personalized tutor. So let's say I'm reviewing this lecture right here. So uh, I've got this lecture on venous return and cardiac output. And well, uh, it's a really, really confusing concept, this cardiac physiology thing. So what is saying? Oh, well, uh, we got this concept saying, oh, change in this thing called venous compliance shifts the vascular function curve and the venous the decrease in venous compliance shifts the curve upward and right upward uh, rightward and upward so first of all i need to understand what's going even on on this vascular function curve so what is vascular function curve so what i might exp uh, ask uh, chat gpt explain the vascular function curve to me like i'm a five year old okay So we have like a five-year-old approach. Uh, why does the cardiac output um, y-axis decrease as the central venous pressure decreases in the vascular function curve? So that's a, a logical question of sort of trying to explain, trying to know what the concept is, is going on, yeah? So this definitely demonstrates how powerful ChatGPT can be as like a personal tutor and mentor. The traditional way of seeking clarification on a concept or a knowledge is to seek a professor or a teacher during office hours or schedule a meeting with a professor yourself. However, with AI such as ChatGPT, I can instantly ask any questions that I have in my mind. This could be whilst I was going through and reviewing the lecture slides, reviewing the professor's lecture on a particular concept, or whilst I was doing my own flashcards or reading my own notes or my seniors notes, there's a lot of questions that I could guarantee to pop in your head. With ChatGPT, I can ask it any questions and receive immediate responses about specific concepts. 
Now you gotta be really careful about the prompt that you get in and make sure that you give ChatGPT enough context about the question that you're answering and the prompt engineering, which is how you phrase your prompt, can hugely affect on how ChatGPT outputs its answers for you. This has hugely improved and streamlined my learning process and made the learning process much more efficient. Another way AI has revolutionized my learning process is now lots and lots of technologies have included the GPT-3 technology in. And one of the major ones I use is Notion. So Notion has incorporated Notion AI, which is basically ChatGPT within Notion. It can provide assistance with fact checking, summarizing my notes, uh, summarizing lecture slides and transcripts, making active, automatically making these active recall questions from my notes I've compiled in Notion and also summarizing, for example, PowerPoint slides and lecture slides and so on. It's really, really powerful. Like the power, the limit really is your creativity on how you use these AI technologies to your own benefit for your learning. Let's try using Notion AI and how it can streamline your note-taking process. So let's have a look at one of the second brain setups I have in Notion. This is for my uh, cardio pulmonary renal systems block within my medical school. So actually one interesting thing is that I use for Notion is like, for example, for any questions I put in to uh, ChatGPT, I actually do save it in this little database. So I've asked ChatGPT what this curve called Frank Stalin curve show and I'll put the answer here. So I could always reference back um, in the future of what questions I've actually given to ChatGPT to ask. Um, so for example, why does the cardiac function, vascular function curve show? Why does an increase in venous return cause a decrease in pressure? What does the vascular function come So all these questions I actually put into ChatGPT and I also saved it in this little like little brain, second brain data bank. Uh, so I know what questions I've asked uh, previously and possibly in the future, I can review this little data bank and see the questions that I've, I've had in previously that I put into ChatGPT. Could I explain that now for myself? So it's really, really powerful. Uh, this is a lecture notes on venous return and cardiac output credit from a medical student called Jerome for these beautiful uh, notion notes. But anyway, here we got this notes on the lecture called venous return and cardiac output. So the lecture that I've shown you previously. And I want to, let's say, for example, here for a factor on myocardial contractility. Let's just highlight this. I could easily ask AI notion here. So I could, for example, I could ask can you make some active recall questions based on uh, the highlights and notes? Yep. So now uh, let's just wait for it. And as you can see, there it is. It made a lot of beautiful notes here. Uh, was Venus return? Was Frank Stalling mechanism? What are the factors that affect Venus return? So these are the questions. AI or the GPT-3 has output to that and I could just insert it below in the factual recall questions and then uh, obviously I could make all uh, make these into toggle questions as well and put in the answer as well uh, for these active recall questions. Now I can also, uh, let's say I wanna highlight, uh, let's say I highlight this again, all right? And I could ask the AI, can you make me a multiple choice quiz based on the highlights and notes, which includes the answers and a brief explanation. So there's a lot of powerful ways you could, uh, like for example here, boom, they're literally generated a full on multiple choice quiz. Uh, based on my highlights and notes. So this is a really short section of the notes in the lecture notes. And boom, as you can see, which of the factors following does not Venus uh, affect Venus return? And uh, and it literally made a full on <laughs> multiple choice quiz. So and with an answer and a brief explanation here, you can make factual recall questions. You can make full on like exam quiz, multiple choice style questions or short answer questions if you want. The, uh, the possibilities are infinite here. And as you can see, just insert below and boom, I have got this multiple choice quiz in Notion just automatically generated for you.
really useful to streamline your note-taking process in Notion, ensuring the notes you have is accurate and precise. You can also create the notes for you. You can also ask Notion AI to create the notes for you. The limit to using these technologies really is your creativity. By automatically creating these active recall questions, it saves me time making the questions, but also doing these questions allows me to, to test my knowledge and have an alternative perspective, an alternative teacher making these questions, not just from you, but from an AI perspective. So you can make sure you have a holistic grasp of the material and knowledge on hand. One way my learning has completely turned its head around is simply by asking questions. So this is how kids learn, right? When we were younger, we're curious on how the world works, on everything, we keep asking our parents questions and that is one of the major ways we learn. Now for higher education, such as medicine, law, or any, or for secondary school exams, we've been grilled into the way of traditional learning approach from root memorization from textbooks but we could revert back to how we learn as a kid, how we fundamentally learn by using ChatGPT and AI, and that is asking questions. For me, whilst I was learning medicine, I, was, I, I had a really new approach. I just keep on asking and asking questions to ChatGPT for any conceptual and hard concepts. Another technique that AI has facilitated is the Feynman technique. So this technique involves explaining this concept to someone like you're teaching to someone else. So doing This is a really, really powerful technique and a collaborative way of studying and learning information. For example, if I'm learning about renal physiology, I could explain how the proximity conflict tubule to my friend. As I explain it, I could identify the gaps in my understanding. It also allows me to improve the recall of that information. With AI, I could practice the Feynman technique by actually explaining it to the AI using ChatGPT to explain the concept. And actually, after you've sort of understood all the intertwinings of all these concepts and linked them together in your own head, try to explain it back to ChatGPT by typing it in, as if you were teaching this AI bot of this concept that you've actually been taught by the AI. And this is a really, really unique approach to learning, which differs to the traditional approach of yes, the teacher feeds you and spoon feeds you information. But really, the true and the best way to learn is actually being able to absorb that information in a way that you can explain it easily to someone that has no knowledge of that information. So this here is a website that actually utilizes GPT-3 technology and AI and actually has uh, makes an automatic flashcard generator. So for me, making Anki flashcards based on my RF, based on my lectures, take up a lot and a lot of time. Um, but one way you can think of making flashcards for me and making questions is actually part of the learning process. But let's say I want to completely skip that part of the process and get into memorization of content. Uh, so here is one of the examples that in the future, uh, learning could be completely changed by these AI technologies. So just we, here we got the automated flashcard generator where you can just upload your lecture slides. So let's try uploading a lecture slide here. And boom, there it is. As you can see here, um, I've got some flashcards made automatically for me. Uh, so one of them here is crazy. As you can see, it made just from dumping in these lecture slides it made this like fill in the blank question for me so change so yeah as you see this is just a really example really infant stage automated flashcard generator but there's a lot a lot of uprising uh, software technologies that can utilize and completely change how we can learn in the future with these automated technologies this has been incredibly useful in my understanding of complex concepts we really have to think, how do we reform our way of learning? How do we reform the education system? Now from personalized tutoring to these advanced note-taking tools, AI has made the learning experience more efficient, but also AI could also make us more lazy as AI could completely generate essays for assignments and homework for school. As the field of AI continues to evolve, we can expect to see more implementations in education, healthcare, and a vast variety of fields in the world. Anyway, I hope this video is useful to you in regards to how to use AI and ChatGPT to help and accelerate your learning potential in school, college, or university.
If you think this video has given you any value to you at all, please exchange some value by just pressing that subscribe button down below. Click here if you want to check out a video on how to memorize everything using this powerful software called Anki. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Hasta luego.